All right. Uh, so we are uh, just about time to go to the audience for questions. So if uh, we can get the folks with the mics ready uh, and folks can start raising their hand. But uh, in the spirit of being out, out of the box, we are going to start uh, this session with uh, giving the panelists the opportunity to ask questions of each other. <laughs> okay, well, I had a really broad question that I, I put to this group uh, by email, um, but I wanted to ask it again here. Um, and it's, it's can be really general, but I, we're a very small organization. I love the word nimble that you use because that, I think to me, emphasizes what, what we strive for, to be responsive and proactive as well as reactive. Um, and I'm really interested in what uh, challenges or what successes have you all had um, using either traditional or non-traditional tools, but potentially having to use them in a new way because you are uh, at the crossroads of a lot of intersections. So I'm specifically thinking in our organization of financial tools. Um, we've been trying to walk the line of not qualifying for a certified, finan certified financial audit, which takes us out of some funding streams, but still preparing ourselves to be, uh, to be shown as a very financially reliable organization, even though we don't have a CFO directing policy, we direct our own, um, and tools we've used to do that. But that's a, so that's like one section, but I'm interested in just how have you all either been challenged or been successful um, using having to use older new tools in a new way. And this is like, is this like funding mechanisms to support? Anything. Yeah, okay. anything that comes to mind. For us, it's funding, and I could, if anyone's interested in talking about that, <laughs> let me know. But um, yeah, I would love uh, to learn. One one thing we've been able to, we've been able to take advantage of, and has really supported, you know, as as we figured it out. Uh, there's fortunately. A, Again, another ecosystem out there for social enterprises and, and young professionals uh, uh, to help basically an award system. There's a, a lot of awards and, and foundations that are starting to really open up um, and accept these for-profit social enterprises as uh, these uh, vehicles for change. Um, so we uh, really, that was the core of what we did for a while was uh, really building out a kind of a boilerplate template um, to apply for these uh, small grants, um, uh, sh short fellowship programs, uh, awards, um, and that's how we patched our funding together before we, as we were figuring out our revenue, earned revenue model. Um, and that was really the only way we could have survived. Um, it just took a lot of initial planning. We were young, we had no connections, um, and without those kind of starter seed funds, um, there's really no, no chance we would have been here um, today with a kind of really Fully, fully flushed out um, revenue model. So uh, I'd encourage you to, to check out those awards. You know, it's kind of laborious going through and filling out all those forms, but uh, if you do them well, um, it can really help you in those lean times, kind of ride it out as you're figuring it out. Um, I'm not sure if this is an answer to your question, but um, I guess, you know, we're not a nonprofit and some of the nonprofits that we really admire don't have products. Um, or if they do, it's sort of kind of in that like pity purchase kind of category of like buy this keychain or you know <laughs> something uh, of that nature. And so I think we've sort of been able to work together on certain campaigns like with Half the Sky on saying uh, you know we're going to create this coupon code on our website, enter code Half the Sky, uh, and we're going to donate you know school supplies, you know for each bracelet sold, whatever it is, some sort of campaign that we can do together where we can really both leverage um, what we bring to the table. Um, so that's not a, a tool per se, but just sort of a new way to look at um, branding as a fashion line and, and a new way uh, for the nonprofits to really have a, a compelling product to offer their audiences. Okay. Any other questions or answers? Going once, twice. Jen, I had a, a question um, about, about scale. Um, is this is what you're doing in Detroit something that you hope to then take to other cities, or is are you focusing specifically on Detroit from here on out? Because um, kind of from our perspective, we we're trying to build a national program and have sites uh, all over the place, but um, we're kind of reevaluating that. You know, should we just focus on the West um, and in Colorado um, and really dial in there and, and really nurture this local community, which I think you're doing at present. So. Any thoughts or things that you've gone through in that decision making? 
Yeah. Um, so that's definitely that that gets back to some of the, the like qualitative, quantitative push and pull, which I'm sure a lot of people here have, have felt at different times. Um, we so we we're a Detroit organization. Um, we're place based. We teach through a place based education model. Um, so uh, Detroit is our it's our home, and it's where we are very likely going to stay for a very long time. Uh, mostly because if we were in every school in Detroit, then I uh, wouldn't be sitting here at this moment. <laughs> I would be back home working furiously. Um, so I know there's a great deal for us left to do in our, in our community. Um, but that being said, our model is, is totally replicable and scalable. Um, and I know that if given the right support structures, in a few years we could be serving you know, tenfold the number of students we're serving now, but also anyone in any other city who felt as connected to the community in, in that space um, could build on everything that we've learned and bend it to their, their place and their neighborhoods um, and make it just as effective. So we are hopeful that we can share everything we're learning um, so that other organizations can start from where we, from where we are and grow something brand new. And we're, we're excited to put that out there. Um, so that's also a great thing for us to learn from other folks who are doing it and to share everything that we've found. Yeah.